Well, good morning and welcome to another episode. Um, the month has passed since um, our last episode. A lot of work has gone off um, trying to bring the family to over here to Attingham. However, we are struggling. I'm not struggling, the family are, are saying no, we want to stay in Maypole, which causes some, some stress, because the family want the farms back up and running. But I'm reluctant to do that at the minute. I'm reluctant to risk everything what I've built here in a space of a month to leave this running in someone else's hands and go back. I'm really reluctant. But there is some news that the farm itself is coming up for auction, along with all the buildings. And not this one, obviously the one back in Maypole. Now, if that comes at a reasonable price, yeah, I think we would. I think we would do it. I think we would go back. But like I say, I am really not sure. Bruce has done a lot of damage um, to the reputation of the family name back on Maypole. Could we get the same response if we go back and run? I don't know. I really don't know. But however... <laughs> Today I am going back to visit f um, family in Maypole. Um, so we might have a sneak peek of back at back there of what we're missing. So obviously there's going to be some changes. There's going to be different changes. I don't know. I don't know. Do I go back? Do I wait? Do I do it in a secret way that only I know and a few other people know that the farm is back and running, but have it back have it running under another company name? Have somebody who I can trust <laughs> Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? Seven somebody you can trust is not gonna screw us over again. So that they are the <laughs> the thoughts and ideas I have at the moment. But for the mer but for today, before I disappear over to Maypole and make that decision. To try and possibly buy them, buy the farm and the buildings. We'll try. It means a lot of a lot of planning has got to be done again. But until then, um, I'm going to talk you through what we have here and what we've built so far. So, as you can see, this is the main farm. We're back at obviously the main farmhouse. Guys, it's early in the morning. It's Saturday, so it's uh, normally a clean down day for us. 
So we've had some big machinery come in. We've spent a lot of money here. Quite a few bells. I still need to move them bells, make them a bit neater. Some TMR on the ground. We have got the beef stock in. Um, that was the aim to get the beef stock up and running. Animal health is doing pretty well. We've got 180 beasts in there. So we're going to see individually how much we can get for those when we sell them. But obviously, yeah, there is too much. Too early yet, I think. Too much, too early. We'll have to come around the back. We've got a new BGA system. Apart from the one we have got another BJ system at the back where the clamp is full. Um, so here we are. I've literally just emptied that in there, as you can see. Had a bit of a struggle with <laughs> getting that up there because there's a quite a bit of we quite a bit of weight in that. So a bit of struggle, as you can tell by the tires, wheel spins, and yeah. Might, ne might next time have to use the bigger machinery, but yeah, this is pumping out some. some one bigger one, that's not too bad. It's pumping out some quite stuff. Uh, yeah, so we are getting some methane, so we will be doing some stuff. Over here, we've got a storage for our beat cup. So as you can see, then we've got our TMR little mini factory processing plant here. Which is running. We've got 400, well that's quite, not, that's not done, not done too bad. 418,000 litres of TMR. Mixed and ready to go to our, to our ladies and gents. The farm, obviously. Doing our bit to try and keep it clean. Over the hedge. And this is two of our clamps. As you can see, we've started on this one. And this one's empty. Gotta be careful so I don't fall in there because I, I did that the other week and fell in. I'm gonna try and drop down. Uh, better. And obviously, our silo. Bit of bit of groundwork to be done around here um, contractors got to come out and put a bit more con concrete or gravel just here um, we've got wheat in this one as you can see we've got some weeds in it so we're going to get back on top of things I believe we'll carry on we'll do it on foot today I think get some exercise in it over the edge. There we go. And we've got our maple trees. Maple trees plant here. So we've got maple syrup. Um, phones green nuts again. So we've got three litres of that so far. It's running. Water's running. That's good. Um, again, a lot of groundwork to be done around this area because this got put up. It's a fantastic building. Storage building nice sleek clean feeling not been used yet so get that all right on the go later um, as you can see the thing is pinging up on the side this is what I'm running so far and this is what we're producing in these mini gardens uh, most of these will go straight to uh, a different process and uh, the process will go very easily They got this, the soybeans going. I think I'm thinking I'm collecting those. I'm not sure yet. We've got the cotton going straight. Friggin' phone! <laughs> cotton. And I think going straight to a different processing plants. We've got the olives, olive trees here. They're running. They're going straight to the. being delivered straight to the oil, ref oil mill, oil refinery mill. So. 
we have done some work on this on this so far as you can hear the water's just filling up one of these and then we've got the greenhouses well the funnel t uh, tunnels and what's in this one we've got the strawberries lettuce and tomatoes running again they're all going to be sold straight off the bat I don't really have to touch these apart from going down and fill up with water every now and then again my phone's doing my head in so I'm that's going to go out the window in a moment um, we've got a few fields around the back here um, jump this edge <sighs> damn it um, in this one there's nothing in this one we're going to go and try and plant that later on in the year um, we've got wheat again growing in here we've got some weeds that we need to get rid of nasty little things but watch out for these little weeds with a nice little jog down here I'll get halfway down and I'll be exhausted October is on this farm is some nice oranges and browns and autumn colours coming into it which I like um, this one here again needs to be planted but it's prepped it's ready to go you can see the difference between the evergreen trees and the, the ones that are not now this is where it was meant to be based our head headquarters um, we've not got around to doing that yet because obviously with everything what's going off with the forts of Maypole yeah we are reluctant to do that we are yeah we're, we're wanting to push Maypole, push for Maypole well the family does I'm reluctant as I keep saying so no big machinery down here I don't believe there is, there shouldn't be um, so yeah the yard's a bit overgrown and if we have an audit from our customers we're going to be in trouble so we might have to spend a bit of money on that. Oh, and the guys have left the gate open again but we have got some 250 five ladies here producing some milk we have got 27,000 litres 642 litres of milk so far we might have to do a delivery of that to the locals but again there's our ladies all doing their job munching that grass to produce that gorgeous milk if you're lactose intolerant I'm sorry Over here should be. I've really got to put a path down here a bit, but we've got uh, quite a bit of work, groundwork to be doing. Make it a bit more neater. Now, down here we have our other ladies producing that fantastic wool. Got 44 of the ladies here. well and eaten enough and we've our first bale our first little pallet a little bag of wool there we go yeah 100 kilo that's that's not too bad so we are progressing um, we are progressing pretty well we've settled in to our way of life now but it's that lingering question the lingering question what do we do about maple what do we do Just don't get me wrong. 
it's a fantastic we've got a fantastic farm here but maypole is a completely different ball game when that was thriving when when maypole was thriving it was we was making millions but we were spending millions at the same time it was organized it was well well thought out so yeah So, is it time to try and bid on the farm and get the farm back? But how do we overcome the damage what's been caused by Bruce? Do we go back and say, look, we're not bothered with what he's done. We're here to do and produce excellent produce and provide you guys with jobs like if you like us you like us if you don't you don't hmm. or do we just bury our bury our heads and stay here well the family are saying to get back our roots over in Ireland but me I'm kind of enjoying here, but the pressures that are <laughs> being put on me at the minute are ridiculous. So that's where we are, and I thought I'll give you a quick update to what's happening here in Attingham and what the plans are or the thoughts are about Maypole. Hmm. Not sure what to do. Really not sure what to do. <sighs> so this is going to be the update. This could be the update video of what's what we've got to do enough. We've got a lot of work to do here. Got a lot of tidying up to do. I want this area to be more clearer, less grass down here. We had a bit of trouble with vehicles when we are in full swing. Plus, we've cut grass. Got to be cut here as well. Disgraceful. <laughs> So, that's where we are, and we'll come back to where we was. Let's first press this go live button. And record, man, the go live, go record button. If you've got any ideas of what, any thoughts and ideas of what my predicament is, and would like to help. try and convince me to go back to Maypole should I say please just leave it in the comment section um, if you've liked this if you want to see more um, ring that little bell well subscribe like the video ring the little bell and if you want to see me mess about and have a laugh live over on the other brand um, that's twitch.tv forward slash minute nine gaming head over to there say hello over there and until the next one I'm going to be ping-ponging backwards and forwards between this map this farm and possibly re revisiting Maypole but that's down to the family so I hope you've enjoyed it please share it please give it a thumbs up it helps the channel and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching and stay safe stay warm